Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back on the center playing some Ark. So, as of either last night or today, the new Halloween Fear Evolve 2 event was released, but much to mine and everyone else's dismay who plays on the center, it's only available on Scorched Earth. And yes, we do have a Scorched Earth server, but we haven't really done anything on there because we've been focusing on doing the center stuff. So, I do want to do what is available here on the center, and it looks like we are able to make Scarecrows headstones and pumpkins but also i think we're gonna do a little bit of halloween themed building as well and we'll get to that in just a minute um, but for now i do want to go ahead and craft up the halloween things that are available to us um oh also there is halloween themed music playing in the back you can hear it kind of cool very uh very nightmare before christmas-esque which is kind of cool so i already started crafting a few of the pumpkins and they are being and i made them here but we need to make a few more of them just so we have a bunch of extras so those are going to take uh just wood for the pumpkins the headstone takes stone chitin and keratin uh and then of course the scarecrow takes you know normal stuff wood thatch fiber but it also takes a cloth shirt and a pumpkin i guess for the head so we're gonna go ahead and let that stuff craft up and then i will bring y'all back all right, guys, so we did craft up the pumpkins, the scarecrows, the gravestones, but prior to that, I think I've decided to move what we're gonna do. I was originally gonna build down there in the, that empty space over by where the training dummy is, but I decided to build up on this rock instead. We're gonna build a little church and a graveyard. Um, so first, I think we're just gonna have it. This fair little church on the hill is gonna be kinda cool. So let's put it, uh, which way do we wanna face it? I guess facing this way. Let's start with this guy going here. Just like that, and that'll be the beginning. That's one, two, how wide should we make it? Three? Just a little three by four structure maybe? Uh, yeah, that might work. I made 12 foundations, so that's probably gonna be the easiest way. Oh, come on. Oh, a little bit of lags. And last one, one, two, and three. Um, now, of course, we're not going to leave these as the regular. We're going to see what else we got. Uh, what would look good? The Hellfire look? That looks pretty Halloween-like, doesn't it? So we're going to make everything the Hellfire look. Except for maybe the doors will do frosty? I don't know. We'll see how it looks. So we might may, may change it if we need to. Ooh, don't fall. And... All right. Ooh, we missed some. Okay. So, of course, we need a door. So, I think we're going to use this nice little uh, door that looks like this. And make that hellfire. Okay, so I think I might wait on doing changing the way things look till the very end. Uh, but we do have... How does this door look? I don't know. That's a window. So, that's not very good at all. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to go make some doors and whatnot. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of build around, get this structure kind of set up. We probably, probably do windows instead of walls in most places, I'm guessing. And uh, bring you guys back after I have it all situated. All right, guys. So we have constructed our weird dark church. And I think it looks all right. I think it could have used a little more windows, something. We might change it. But we also added some pews inside. And, of course, for the final touch, no church is complete without a pastor. So, bam, there we go. I've got to say... That's pretty creepy. Let's get a screenshot of that. All right, I have started laying down what is going to be the graveyard using these uh, fence support foundations that are in the S plus mod. And I really like these because they really just make things look better. Um, they don't always place exactly how I like, um, but the, having the option to switch between the different kinds of snaps you can get out of it is definitely very helpful. Um, so let's see. Let's throw another one right here. Is that big enough, you think? Should we go one more? We should probably go one more, huh? Let's go one more out. And then one more out. Perfect. And then we will do... Now this is what I don't like about the area that we're in. There's a lot of these areas where we're just kind of in the ground for no reason. And that gets really irritating. Uh, but we're hopefully it won't be too bad. Okay, snap on this side, please. Snap over that, this way. Okay, what about this one? Okay, that one snaps. And then we'll do 
this one. See, it wanna snap on this side and it doesn't wanna do it. Maybe what we'll do is snap this way. Okay, let's go back to straight snaps. And then straight snaps. And then straight snaps. There we go, now I can just pick up the two in the middle. Um, so now what we have to do is add the actual stone railings themselves everywhere. I made a bunch of those. And I think we're just gonna do it just like this. Just all the way around. All right, guys, we have the basis of our graveyard made. We just need to add in some headstones. Let's do one there. What do these things look like? Oh, you can set text. Can you do anything else with them? So set sign text. So let's say we set it as Turok. That's what it would look like. Oh, huh, interesting. So let's set it as nothing right now. And see, the problem is with these things sinking into the ground, it's gonna look a little weird. I could do like foundations or something, but maybe it looking uneven will just add to the creepiness factor. So we got three there. Let's do another couple like this. How many can we really fit? Oh, see, these, see how see deep these are into the ground? Isn't that like a big problem? Uh, I guess it's fine. We'll just, that's just something we'll deal with. No big deal. Another one here. And another one right here. All right, so it's kind of weird that the uh, headstones are in the ground a bit, but it make, the unevenness might add a bit to the creepy factor. But now we gotta add some pumpkins around here um, to make it more Halloween-esque. We're just kinda kinda throw them in like random places. Not really like a pattern. I don't, I don't want them like in the ground. Let's give it a little bit of a, a Halloween feel. Maybe another one over. Ah, see, I don't like the ones in the ground. Um, and I was also thinking maybe a couple scarecrows on the outside, kind of like centuries. Maybe one there. And one on this side. Oh yeah, that's pretty Halloween looking. And then uh, maybe throw a couple more pumpkins over here. Now I believe you can paint or carve these pumpkins as well. So maybe we'll play around with that. And then maybe one over here. Oh uh, yeah, that's pretty Halloween looking. I also added a bunch of torches. So at night, hopefully it makes it look really creepy, which we'll explore when nighttime happens. But I'm gonna go and see about uh, painting some pumpkins. All right, guys, so I believe you carve the pumpkins by painting them. I'm not really sure how it works, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw in uh, a bunch of materials for paint and hopefully it'll just make us a bunch of different dyes. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Um, which will, you know, we can always use more dyes. Let's go ahead and grab all these. And I'm just gonna keep doing this thing, but uh, well, we'll just turn it off. Okay, so now let's go take a pumpkin and drop it down. Uh, let's just drop one right here and let's see what we can do. Hold for options. Uh, we need a paintbrush, I'm guessing. Have I not learned the paintbrush? Oh, huh, well, there we go. And we need hide. All right, we've got our brush. Let's see how this works. So let's try navy. Uh... Can we not? Do we, oh, we have to put it on the brush, obviously. So that's navy, but it's coming out as yellow. Is everything just coming out as yellow? Is that just how we carve it? Let's try magenta. Yes, okay, so erase. All right, so let's do this. Let's carve ourselves just as a little standard. Uh-huh, yep. Cut the little eye in there. Make sure to get all the places. I've got to say, this kind of uh, fancy art stuff is not my forte. And then maybe one of the mouths like this. Ah. Maybe get some teeth. Yeah. Uh, and then we want the mouth cut out, right? This is what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, this is taking too long. Let's just do it, do it fast. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that's probably perfect. And, uh, close. 
Oh yeah, look at that! <laughs> that is the ugliest looking pumpkin I think I've ever seen. All oh, right, well now that I know how it works, I'll at least try it again. So I'm thinking, oh, we can paint, uh, oh, we can paint the stem and the pumpkin itself too. I didn't even notice that. Okay, what color do we want the pumpkin? Black, right? No, can we not do that? Black. Ooh, it's like a rotting pumpkin. White? Hmm, red. Oh yeah, we'll have a red pumpkin. And the stem will be black. Perfect. And now we'll do our little bit of uh, painting here. Let's do, let's do a uh, one of these. Ooh. Classic eyeballs. And this time we know we can go Ah, uh, and make it look a little better. Ding. Oh yeah, make that sucker look angry. I know how I said that now that I know how to do it, this is going to be better, and clearly I lied. <laughs> but I don't know, I think that's pretty much the perfect looking pumpkin. Maybe a little, a little nose. Maybe some spiky hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think we're pretty happy with that! <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a beautiful work of art. All right, guys, so I think we got a little bit more of the event than I thought, because look at the colors of all these trees. Uh, the framiness feels so real right now. But we got some fall colored trees, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm actually out looking to see, I'm pretty sure the uh, skeletal dinos don't spawn, which is super unfortunate, but I do want to look around and verify it. Either way, we want to check out the new items. If we have to just spawn in the skins, we will. Uh, but I like to avoid doing that if possible, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, that's someone's base. And also, so I'm gonna look at maybe some drops, see what's going. I do think these, these like, fall trees look pretty cool. Um, really cool colors, really cool idea. For some reason, I'm getting way more framiness than normal because of it, I'm guessing. Um, but I'm gonna look around, check some drops and whatnot, and see what we can find. Okay, this is interesting. The loot drop I want, want to cross looks like a giant candy corn. <laughs> what's inside? Metal ingot and spark powder, so nothing special. Um, I'm gonna go and check more drops, see if there's some Halloween themed things in the drops, and hopefully I'll find something good and bring you all back. All right, guys, so I got us our little graveyard, Halloween haunted church looking area. Looks pretty cool at night. Um, so after looking at a bunch of drops and realizing that no, there's no Halloween stuff in them, um, I, I've spawned in all the skins for us to look at. Now, I don't generally like doing that. Um, it also could have to do with, we do have a, uh, drop mod on the server. But nonetheless, I want to go ahead and look at the stuff we got. So, first thing I want to look at is, of course, the witch hat, right? Oh, witch hat skin. Okay, so first let's remove our current skin and do the witch hat skin. What do we look like? Okay, you know what? That's not, let's gamma four, because this is so dark here. That's uh, it's not so bad. It's kind of a neat little uh, little dealio. But also there is a, let's throw on this one, a dino witch hat skin, which is not, not gonna work. There we go. Now what do you look like? <laughs> oh, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> let's try it on a different dino. Oops, okay, uh, let's put the saddle back. Okay, let's try it on the mammoth. What? Nothing? Oh, nothing. All right, well, fine then. Let's try it on something better. A Rex! All Rexes need a witch's hat. All right, where is it? Uh, did we leave it over here? There it is. All right. And? Oh yeah, that's where it's staying for sure. Oh, check that out, that's awesome. 
All right, now there's supposed to be a bone costume for the Quetzal. I believe we did spawn it in. Let's do it. Oh, that is awesome. That's definitely staying. 100% that's staying on the Quetzal. That's so cool. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and park this guy. And there's also a bone one for a Giga. And let's go put it on our good Giga over here. Uh, Giga Nautosaurus. Oh, now that's cool. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing as the Rex one, which we also have. And of course, we're going to throw on here. But nonetheless, it's cool. Can we have the witch's hat and the and the thing? Oh, we can! <laughs> well, so that's pretty neat, I've got to say. Now, for a lot of the dinos that have the skins, we don't actually have those dinos. Which I know is kind of lame, but we will uh, get them eventually. But there is one for a raptor, so I wanted to pull one of these guys out. Um, I'll kind of show you. So we don't have the trike, we don't have the bronto, we don't have the stego, we don't have the carno. I'll go ahead and hold on to those, and when we actually do tame those things legitimately... Ooh, that's cool. Oh, I like that one a lot. So when we actually tame tame the things legitimately, we'll use it. Um, but this is pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So I think the only one left that we can try is all the stuff for our person. Uh, I'm digging the witch's hat, but there are some really cool sounding ones. Let's get out of here, so we're somewhere we can see. And let's try it. All right, guys, so let's look at the ones that we can actually use for ourselves. We already saw the witch's hat. Let's do the, the clown. Ooh. Oh, that is just, that is just terrifying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's gonna give some people some serious nightmares. <laughs> okay, what else do we got? We got the uh, vampire eyes. Oh, doesn't look like it does anything. Ooh. Oh, it certainly does. Oh, I wish you could use that with another skin, though. That would be cool. Um, but that is pretty rad. I mean, look at that. Real glowy eyes. Uh, we also got the werewolf mask. Whoa, 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 whoa. The werewolf mask, which, oh, it's not really a werewolf mask. It's just a wolf's head helmet. But that would look really cool with the fur gear. Maybe we'll use it for that. Uh, the dodo wyvern. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's huge. Oh, wow. That's cool. Um, I don't, not for everyday use, but I think it does look pretty awesome. But I think we're probably going to stick for the normal everyday use with this regular Dodo Rex that we always use because it is cool. Um, now, once we do get the other dinos naturally that have the bone skins, we'll test those out. But um, that's not going to be today, I don't think. Alright guys, if you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe. But for today, I do think that is going to be it. Um, you can also hit me up on all the social medias, your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or even Google+, Plus, even though no one uses it. Uh, and if you're feeling extra generous, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash ObadiahX. Uh, but for today, guys, uh, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me, and I will see you again next time.